she's going to give us a quick update on what's going on with camp. So, what's yours? Okay. So, I just had a question about CPR for Jordan. Yep. Have we decided if she can be by herself because she did it through us last year, but she couldn't find her card? Well, I thought she, she did find her card. She was going to sort that out with Kelly. That's why I wish Kelly was there. Okay. I thought she did find her card. Yeah, that's what she told Kelly. The last I heard was, was um, an email that said, um, it was, we weren't sure, uh, and we wanted to make sure that people who had CPR were with people who would out, and she's the only one. She's out this week, so it didn't matter anyway. Ari was her this week, but when she comes back on Tuesday, mm -hmm. she comes back from vacation, then it will matter, because she's usually with her by herself, so I won't do that. I'll keep Ari with that, if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, the rule is, if you don't have CPR okay. current and she can't prove it, okay. then, then you won't. need to have okay. her not be just alone. Okay. I mean, if it's a shouting so distance away, it's, it's okay. Yeah, she's always But, crazy. you know, I mean, you really cannot be right. alone without it. Right. Okay. And she can't come on um, that Monday. She's not one of them that cannot come. She's on vacation. That's right. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, we don't know yet, though, so if she's going to check. Uh, she's going to check. She's going to check. Well, I thought that I thought I saw I something and I got something, something said that. that. We found it. Wow. Yeah, because so in the other one, we. No, this was after the meeting between this that meeting and this one. Um, yeah. I thought I know someone said that she found it. So let's get that confirmed. Uh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Or again, ask her if she did not find it. If you did not find it, then we're going to keep she'll switch places with Carol. So Carol will, she'll be with Carol's group, Carol will be with her group. She definitely came to the meeting because we didn't see Derek as I was with her. Okay, so moving on. Sorry. My little one's good. Uh, library. Uh, they, they were going to do a turtle show for us. Now they can't do it because the woman at their emailing is doing a kickback email saying that she's not there for 10 days. So uh, I have emailed and left three voicemails for um, Gucci Valley Society because I know that they come out. Ooh, so I'm just hoping. Moving. I know. They're, I know. they're busy. Know, right? They're busy, but I told them even if they can't, we'll do a little, we'll try to get a donation box where we can. Try to get some things and I can have the kids make the yarn. We have so much yarn. They can make little cat things off of that and then we'll um, we'll do the donations for them anyway. And I know the last pick up pamphlet, so we can at least the staff can teach the kids about how much of a responsibility it is. Well I would still ask, but I read something yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that they're moving to a new place this week. Yeah. yeah. So busy so week for them. Yeah, maybe a busy week for them. Gotcha. But you guys have a library today. But we got to the library today awesome. and that was so much fun. Um, a couple of children who realized maybe walking that far is not their thing. Or can it possibly be? The 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 they're they're probably like not. They or they're they look look right. Yeah. Or their footwear it was, was yeah. not yeah. good. No, no, their sandals no, no, no. for it. So maybe I said sneakers. I suggested for a couple of them. Um, okay. And next, that we are negative 14 tickets for the historical visit. So they gave us a voucher for 60 to visit to the historical site, which is awesome. But we have 74 that are supposed to be with us that week. So Sam's going to do a prettier wow. version of what I did <laughs> and make it look nice. And we're going to ask parents. And hopefully, like 14 of them will say, oh, yeah, we're not here that week. We're not here that week. And we can minimize that mm -hmm. and find out by the end of next week. Um, it is the last week of camp, so it has three weeks to get that. But by, we're hoping by next Friday we can have ask everybody yeah. and give a definitive if 14 sure. might not be there. Or we can ask, like, hey, there is, you know, 63. Can you help us out? Well, it's last requirement, not us, right? I mean, it was really uh, it's 150 per 20 kids. Okay. And yeah. our grant is for $450. Yeah. 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 I was looking at it too. Okay. okay, so 450. So. But I thought it was a restriction on no, he the they, building and they the size. They can only take 60 kids at once. That was their max size. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she's, she's going to do a sign-up sheet. And oh, we'll see. Hopefully, Maybe 14 are going to be You're yeah. going to be surprised because it's the last week. Right. Mm -hmm. They want to make mm -hmm. that all worth it, do some traveling. Yep. Okay. We're lucky in 40 things. Right. <laughs> right. 300 was for the movie. movie. Got it. For the movie license. Okay, I think you got all of that information that was in there, mm -hmm. so that's all yours. Um, I will drop off. I want to make sure everybody shows up tomorrow because we've had, we have one, she's like, oh, I have to make it to a concert. I'm like, well, we already have two staff out, so you can't have tomorrow off, but you can leave as soon as we get back from the pool. That's totally doable, but I need your body tomorrow. So I'm waiting on all those sign those time sheets tomorrow, and then I'll, I'll drive them down here before we go to the pool. Um, 
give you a copy of Sam's card, the mail. Oh, Matula's mom called. Um, she wanted to sign up two kids, a first grader and a fourth grader. And I told her to go in sports center because we weren't doing any more paper copies. So is that the one that you asked me about last week or yes. the beginning of the week and I said it was up to you to go Yes, numbers? okay, yes. so I have to open up Sports Engine. Okay. It's closed right now. Okay, so I will tell them that I drop off tomorrow. They okay. will open it up. Can I ask you a question about yes. the time sheets? Yes. What time would you be here? Because Carolyn's not here and Chuck leaves at 1. Right. I can swing by around 2 and pick them up from you. Well, we'll be gone from 12 to 3. Oh, I can pick it up at three. If you want. One, two, three. Is it if That's it's perfect. easier for you? Yeah. For me to pick them up from you? Sure. Okay. Okay. I'll do that because I've, nobody else is going to be here to let you in. Okay. That's all. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. I'll pick them up at the grade school, right? Okay. Pick them up at grade school at three. All right. Okay. Uh, real quick, uh, the two that are signing up, do you know what LinkedIn's for? Is um, we she meet? she just called, kind of like in that panic mode today. I told her we would I would talk to you now, and so she's going to probably sign them up. Short. <laughs> so it was a little hard to understand her, but I got the gist that it was a first grader and a fourth grader. She's got a big accent. Um, okay. So I think that would be for five, six, and seven weeks, five, six, and seven, do you think? I think so. And they're out of towners, so there would be that fee. There's so much work. Hello. Okay. Very good. All right. We got a lot in that short amount of time. <laughs> okay, what about the person? For well, next Monday night for a CPR. Gonna be there, right? Okay, so um, she's supposed to go to that. I guess she's been texting Kelly, and she'll be going to that. Sorry, what was the name again? Shannon. Shannon. Yep. So we'll ask Kelly about that. Oh, so okay. This is the one with the card. Shannon's the one that went to Summer's Road last year. Oh, the card is. And she okay. just didn't receive a card. Okay. The one on vacation is the one that. Um, Jordan. Okay. But she uh, did it through us last year. But the question mark on on Jordan, which I need to know because she's the only one in her group, is that did last year they provide CPR and first aid? There was like a question mark of whether they just, just did CPR. Um, so I think I'm just going to switch her group then. Okay. So she's going to go with somebody who definitely has it, who was with me, Mike, and, and Kara's going to go who was definitely with okay. me there too. But the one, the one that is supposed to be there on Monday night at 6.30 is going to be there, right? Yes. Fire station. Yes. Kelly, that is confirmed, right? She and will she be did. there. She did. She told me she would. Right. I mean, she texted me or, yeah, she texted me that Monday morning. <laughs> okay. Okay. So one she fourth grader for sign-up, and what was the other no, age level? That was the first grader. Okay. No, the other one that didn't find her, she did find her card, and it was expired. She's the one that's on vacation, so oh, I don't know what right. to do about that. It's true. Uh, yeah. Okay. J.W. So she's going to she's gonna <laughs> um, swap her out with somebody who has. So she has the other one. She has her first date. She's just missing one. Yeah. Okay. You probably didn't switch her group anymore just because she's by herself. Even though she's never by herself or always with somebody else. Yep. It just makes sense. She just does so well as a little one. <coughs> Not everybody does so. It's kind of what Kara has been herself for this week, and I know she does. So that's helpful. <laughs> I just opened up registration, so thank you. Yeah. And I will definitely talk to okay. you. Okay, one with the wilderness? Yes. Yeah, I have that. You have a copy of it? Yep. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yep. <laughs> Good, so we're only sure one person. I wasn't sure if that was for CPR or not, but well, he's they looked it up and they said it was. Okay, so, so I, and he's with somebody anyway, so it's kind of like that, okay, you have this and you're with somebody. They said it, it contained all of that. Good. So, Better than yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. So right. that's a good thing. So yeah. he's a guru too. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he's happy about it. I'm only sure one yeah. counselor that doesn't have CPR first aid, right? Yes, yes. Just, just, just I'm yeah. just gonna, yeah. I'll just once Shannon goes to that, we'll just have Jordan. Yeah. Well, that's like Jordan's the only one. Yeah, but she only has the first aid part. Yeah. yeah, one that yeah. doesn't name, but she's taking out. Okay. okay. Um. But we can confirm she had it last year. She had so she will be just update. The registration for the rest of the summer, certain weeks, do you know? No. But they're at the time. She called like, and I was rushing because like I just ate my dinner at the camp and then came here. My daughter was in her soccer clothes and we're going to head out shortly. Um, photos. Yes. You had mentioned to me oh, about yes. that. So I have and tons of photos, but I just don't know what to do with them. So we've taken pictures of all these great activities Sam's done, and I, just don't, I don't know if we want to 
you know, do a Facebook. Sam's been more than happy to say she she helped out with that. But I just, or you know, do we want to print them and like post them somewhere just so parents know what to refund stuff, or or do we want to leave it alone and I don't know. You just have to. Did anybody say they didn't want them to have photographs? That's I would. The only thing. I would have to go through. Yeah, we, that's yeah, the only thing to say. We have a list of that too, so we we yeah, yeah. we can make sure that those people don't get posted that don't want. Photos. So they. Um, we probably, uh, so remember we, we created the Facebook accounts because it was a closed group. We didn't right. want people, just anybody going in there looking at these pictures and stuff like that. So I mean at this point we would have to create another mm -hmm. one. That's what they do at school. Yeah. Like another closed one. Yeah. Yeah. Each yeah. Each year the teachers will do it. We could do that. It's, yeah. I mean it's just like it's all for rent. 2019. Yeah. 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 So we could do that. And then you make it close so that only they can see it. But that way, if they ask, like, like nobody's asked, but I just figured she was saying, I'm going to go to the fish cats and take pictures. Of, and then she's like, Have you taken any pictures? I'm like, Yeah, I have, but I don't, I don't, I have to have on a phone. <laughs> yeah, it would be so, nice to get them out there, I think. So, too. Yeah, and I mean, we showing them do the activities. Right. You know, what's Make happening. us look fun. Yeah. yeah. You can, I mean, I know you and I have tech, and I'm like, I will post pictures of my kids all over Oh my place. God, your kids so. are one, like everything. And I need so. to get pictures of all that. I'm so mad. So like, I'll be, you know, I like putting them on my page to yeah. advertise. So I might make cool, cool things for yourselves again. And have them up there because I was so in the trenches this week with the Olympic Games. I didn't even like take the pictures because I was just so yeah. focused on their time. But, but I think yeah. doing okay. it. I think it's nice for our sponsors, like C and J, um, oh. pictures of the kids wearing their shirts out at different locations to show that they get exposure, not just here in the town. Oh, or maybe even C and J, like people who are coming out on Facebook. That's a huge one. And then, like, like maybe the just sending them to uh, what's her name there, Doug? Bridget. Bridget to show yeah. some of the pictures of them with their shirts on versus posting them. I mean, you still yeah. can do them with their shirts on. I'm yeah. just saying, you know, but I would. Definitely send her a note saying that yes. that's what you purchased on our behalf and thank you. you know? Yeah. And so some of the kids, you know, look at all of our city. Yeah. Yeah. They're having a big picture ticket for Team Camp. So I, I um, have a couple of pictures of some of the campers with their backs, just like the backs. Line up, you're in line, line up, oh, let me nice. take your picture. And so I got them at like Fisher Cat Stadium mm -hmm. with the, the, the backs. I just have to say, I have to send out a shout out to all the staff later too. I think they were so well behaved. The kids and the staff was on point with everything that they were telling them. Like they brought out their cell phone, no, can put it in the way. Like they were just but kind and everybody actually just really worked well and it went smoothly. So it was like once they were there, in there, they were good and respectful, I think. A good representation of it. <laughs> My tip said they didn't have a choice of meals, so yeah. I don't know if that was true or not, but I don't know if that's something um, we need to talk about. Sure was specific to, and that was they, all, they, all day a hot dog, they told me. Yeah. That's what um, P&J, right? They told me P&J, but they yeah. didn't tell us that we had to tell the staff that they wanted the P&J and maybe go to a certain location. Okay. Um, um, and I thought they had a pizza choice. That was you need to have it. You had to pay extra for the upgrade uh, pizza. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we only had one. 
I'm like, but I promise you, we'll make up for it next, next week. week. They're like, yeah. okay, but we're charging a full price. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. Just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're four weeks in. Yes. How's it going? Yeah. It's going. I think we're in the safe zone now. I think it was a little uh, busy, 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 and now we're going to be able to really like enjoy, you know, the, the kids and get to, you know, really get like some home-based activities going. I sent you a list of like some more fun stuff we can do at home. Yep. Um, I think uh, the, the feedback from staff was I was just asking them today was just um, a little bit different activities now they want because they've been four weeks doing similar activities. So like all those things I sent you are just new activities so that they can have more fun. And I'm thinking tomorrow, because I'm going to be for the first time, like not in the office at all tomorrow, just a heads up. I'm going to be a full on staff member. Sam will be a full on staff member. We're out a couple people tomorrow. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys what we could do as far as like like a radio and kids bop and having kids dance or like we dance and stuff like that just to switch it up. So it's not this, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the great, yeah, I think that's the great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, Brittany, yeah. at what so point is this different fun classes? tomorrow? You know? Yeah, Brit yeah, Brittany was a dance um, major, so oh, she was good. doing some. Yeah, like a okay. private. Yeah, yeah. Because we never do that, so I was like, okay, maybe we can do that tomorrow. And then um, Cameron, thank um, you. He was talking to my daughter. He said, "Which we do you have? You have 2016. Yes, I have it. We should have a play day." <laughs> I'm like, I gotta bring it now and watch his dance moves because he cracks me right up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Either you, either you want to pull your hair out or he cracks you up. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of both. No, I think that's a great idea. Anything okay. Moving we'll and active. Okay. But yeah. I, I do have to say, even you know, like when I go to pick up my kids, that um, nobody is just sitting around in the shades anymore. They're all doing something. They're not hanging out in this corner or that corner. They're all doing it in the gym. You know, they're all doing something. Out two places outside, in the kid garden, in the gym. You know, so that's really nice. Especially in this heat. Yeah. Yeah. They're not trying to get some shade. No. <laughs> yeah. We should have the sprinkler on a couple of times. Yeah. 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 They get the sprinkler on. Yeah. Yeah. I try to do that as much as possible. Then I was just thinking today, I'm like, what, what else can I do? They did that water toss. They really like that. Those are some cool pictures. So she had them line them all in a row. It looked like a million of them. And they, you, whoever lasted the longest, I throw the water balloon to you. You throw it back to me, and then like you back your foot each time. Of course, Sam's got hit with the water. <laughs> There's another really cool game that we did on the spring when it was really hot is um, you have a bucket of water in front of you with a big sponge. Yep. And the kids are in a line. And they have to take the sponge and squeeze it behind them into a cup. I think we, you and know And that person has to dump a cup behind them into the next cup and then they can. I think I should add that. So <laughs> I think that's a good fun game. I yeah. was just thinking in my head, I think we they use that for because I saw a whole bunch of sponges. I was thinking a whole bunch of paint pushes and sponges today. I think we need another sponge just for water and designated sponges for paint. Yeah. I think they got a little confused mm -hmm. on what was for what, but yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, they like that a lot. I can do that tomorrow. Okay. Okay. They'll be excited. My one concern, like the movies, you can't technically use um, CDs at camp. You're supposed to do it, without a license, it's music that's copyrighted for personal use. So in a radio, if it, it, it's like a kid pop CD in a radio, you mean? If you I bought a CD, I believe Britney used one. Yeah. Oh, that's but even like free like services like Netflix, years. you can't stream live right. in front of a group of people right. because it hers was stuff she had purchased. But. Still, it was pointed out to me that stuff that you can purchase for personal use. So I'm just making you aware to what be. What if it's like a YouTube kids' Bob video song and then like it's played on the like speaker? Then it's not technically purchased. I don't Is that know. A cheap but the recommendation made to me by the person I was conversing with was to use the radio if you can find a good I'm station. I'm that nobody like a pop up or something. That's what written news was Pandora. Mm -hmm. That's what was Pandora. Yeah. I'm sure she's one of the you know, kids has that. Because she was starting to get all of that. There's always new things coming in. Exactly. They've done something I don't know. I'm sure. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I have been there. Okay. So, yeah. I'm sure we're between the... And we haven't... Yeah. We just need to be cautious because mm -hmm. it is considered copyright infringement. Because, like, radio stations and stuff, when they play these, they have to pay for right. the rights to play them. And you're playing them for a group. So I'm just trying to make you aware that yeah. you need okay. to be okay. cautious. Yeah. Got it. Noted. No, don't put that. <laughs> <laughs> don't note it. <laughs> did you talk about Christmas in July? Yeah. Your email. You did? No, I didn't. No, I did. I thought I sent it to her. Oh my gosh, I sent it to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Right. I didn't send it to everybody by accident. I was supposed to talk about Christmas in July next July. week. I'm like, I'm on Christmas anyways. Is that a what is that next week? That's a, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean? Christmas is out. My family is like, uh, Melanie, you have a theme list. Theme week list. You're supposed to stick with a theme like you did Olympic week, right? It's true. Okay, so next week is Christmas in July. Oh, I'm just out of the loop with my own thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, anyways, Christmas no, in Sam July. Sam does that. <laughs> sorry. Okay, well, what do you want to do, you think? I had we can decorate. Um, I found do we have any oh, decorations? Yeah. Do they still have the shavings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I found some stuff on Amazon. Snow stuff? No. That would be good. Now that I can make No, they're ornaments. They're like wood ornaments. There might be a pile. I don't know if you guys have paint or anything. That's true. So I didn't know if you had already come up with activities for Christmas in July or anything going forward. So it's Christmas in July. Everybody who signs up signed up knows it's Christmas in July. So I'm thinking we'd better do a little something. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, even if it's making ornaments or yeah. something like that. But I know cool. one fun thing is if you get the star from walls and you get to roll in glue, which we always look at the glitter, you're super shiny. <laughs> super shiny. It looks a mess everywhere, but we gave him his first toys. I don't know if you can roll it. Glitter. I guess I did. <laughs> Here's a spray purple. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Or oh, now you said yeah, Sam's taking it. care of it. Do you want to yeah, contact Sam? You, I mean, you can, but I can tell her too. I told her I'd give her a heads up when I leave anything, you know, important. Yeah, so um, next week is Christmas in July, the week after Superhero Week. And it's Mystery and Riddles, and right. it's Dance Party at the end. Yeah. Do you want me to rip this off so you can have it? Yeah. You sure? Okay. So All right, so you want to give it to me. And then what is <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dance party was last week. What was the we week? Did right right for Mystery riddles. Um, so it was Christmas in July, Superhero Week, Mystery and Riddles, and Dance Party. And right. Superhero Week. Do we have any contacts? Like the fire department that might want to come and oh my god, I'm just to do like a was that to me by Superhero? Dress up. Well, I don't know. Oh, I was thinking like Batman's watching Superman. So I was thinking to me they're superheroes. Oh, yeah. well, I do too. But so. yeah. Um, I certainly I can. I could certainly, um, we could have them. Yeah. I'm sure my son has one day I'll be happy. Yep. Yes. I wonder if one of the first ones are going to show up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my boys always like that during trick or treat. And then well. the, um, what week is that? What's the, uh, the date? Do you know? Week 6, July 29th through August 2nd. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I'd like to put it on this other day. But it doesn't mean that someone else is going to know. Yeah. Yeah, they're perfectly working. Yeah, they're perfectly working. 
it's so a liability. Yeah. yeah. So if they if we want to sell them, they will buy them for twenty bucks each. They're nice, big in there. Not not full time. Well, so I can't work it out. So did we decide at the end it was a liability because we thought it was the size turned out to not be the liability? Because they back in my small. emails and look. No, I was I, on the they're pretty yeah. small. They're pretty I was small. on the fence with that too because I know at, at daycare centers you can't. It would have been an absolute no. But yeah. I thought because we're not licensed that it technically puts us under the radar. No, but it I doesn't. think we're going through the list. We are responsible. It's at the top. Okay. okay. So, so you can They have to be taken down every night. Every night and put away. Because there's no that fence in area. Right. Um, I will see if I can find the email that says about the pools. Well, we will keep them in the shed, and you guys can use them as you please. If you would like to sell them for 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, people will buy them. Okay. Uh, like, wouldn't that be like a station? Right, so like sorry. a not like get in it station, but like a fill up of water gun a station? I don't think that's an issue. It's right. more about people so being in it. Yeah. I don't, so I just, what I just said was that we could, you could use that as like a station, like not get in it, yeah. but as a Fill up my water gun to oh, shoot yeah. you kind of station. Well, that's what we did last okay. time with it. And like, they decorated the walls with all the... Oh, yeah. With so that. As long as it takes too long to fill. Like, like you'll be there all day to fill it. Yeah. Like, but it was... Empty. Yeah. So um, that's what we did. Oh, but yeah. um, I was thinking like, ball pits, too. But I don't know that I'm sure they'll like start throwing balls at people. Uh, <laughs> you know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know if it's on that. All right. I'll see you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Um, is she here? Is she not here? She's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, when you said you're talking to somebody else, I guess she wasn't here. Um, no, she's um, she's only going to delegate certain things to certain people. So really? she's delegated the meetings to Sam, which is why she didn't know. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So what about? Oh, meeting minutes. You want to approve the meeting minutes, right? Yeah. I we got one between the January. Well, the twenty sixth of June went out and then today went out the ones from last week, the eleventh. Mm -hmm. During the day. Late? Mm -hmm. late. And I got it. Okay, yeah. I got the one. Um, what about the old ones though? I'm working on them. Three here, four. So it's kind of I don't see look at it. It's the I had read that. Okay. That's the 26 one. I've read that one. Okay. I read this one too, and I'm also looking. Okay. There was only one thing that was um, I saw, and it was something stupid. It was just.
not the images, but um, the first half was mentioned, I thought it was. So, so maybe instead of they would like input from the committee, they would um, want to work with the committee. Or they want to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I just know that it's needed to be recreation, and what they're proposing is somewhat recreational. So I'm not proposing anything that they're doing. You know, to say they have the funds. That, Bottom line is, it's first cleaning up the lot. So maybe if they can help them pick up the resources and the funds, then that would be a start. But I think what they're, they're suggesting is good. Um, so we the meeting and hear them out. And, um, but I just wanted to know it wasn't, it isn't theirs. It's town's. Did they set the meeting? Uh, Not yet. Yeah. No, she said that in September she will call a meeting. Okay. So we could also take out. Um, they would like. They would like to see there. Just put the conservation committee has some ideas, like an exercise course, and and the science there. Yeah, just just make it more like it's in. They're, you know, starting the conversation, you know, and getting the people who might be use, using it involved. That's all. And it's sort of saying parks and rec should review the plans. Yes. Um, parks and rec. To coordinate with them or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What's that going to be? Mm -hmm. I would be good to have a couple thoughts about that yeah. property. The plans with that shallow to get one on. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of funny. So, do we want to um, make a motion on this or hold on? Come to pass the minutes. Everything was fine.
So I know that Rich um, had offered the hauling, mm -hmm. clearing up the hauling, and putting tables mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. which is something we could still utilize if we wanted to. But it's just, I think the question is, do we still go with the American Legion part, or do we just stick with the hall and the tent that's being offered, or if we could get a tent for outside? Um, so still I think religion. that we would utilize the legion as on a holiday, rainy day kind of thing. The storm, I think the stormy day, you know, for sure. Just because sitting in the hall for eight hours, I mean that. that I mean that's all it's going to be. Um, but if it's a, a quick shower that's happening, or you know, um, something like that, I mean, that's like in the day, it's sprinkly, it's sprinkly again, and they don't care. They could, they could be outdoors, and that's something. Um, but I think that all day we need projection, we should definitely still go to the agent. Okay. And you know, it works out, um, you know, because we watch, watch the forecast for right. those two weeks. So that's the thing, we just have to make sure, you know, yeah. and stay on top of it. Now, I see that she's been putting out some notices. Do you know what those have been going through when people are getting those messages? Because I thought that was a great idea. Oh, you mean through, through the sports engine? engine? Yeah. yeah, I've been getting them. Yeah, yeah. I am, and she's, she may have had a communication with the parent who's in the was not going through. Okay. Um, but other than that, last time I knew, as long as they're reading them. Well, yeah, well <laughs> if you yeah, say, you, yeah. you know, if you're doing it, mm -hmm. that happens in school too. Well, you don't have to. We all get to do it. I miss innovation because I can yeah. keep up sometimes. But that's a, that's a good. Um, means of saying, you know, tomorrow is going to be a rainy all day, we're gonna go we're gonna go right down to the region. Yep. If, um, um, and let them know that, you know, as much as possible if we you know what the weather projection is. Yep. Um, so we need to send out the initial communication of that to the parents and I think so that the last two weeks. I think something needs to go before the last two weeks happen that due to um, school projects, facility projects or whatever, mm -hmm. um, we only can be outside. So the region is stepped up. So we should send that out. Yeah. I don't think the camp should. should. Yeah. So yeah. are you going to step up and do that? And you know, sure. Of course, we have to. Yeah. Could you invent it? When they haven't started. Happens. That's not going to be done until 29th. Yeah. So they start. 29th of what? July. July oh, they start. Oh, oh. Yeah. So, so, so we have a chance to mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the way we'll, we'll get out. Um, right, we'll get out the initial communication with parents. Mm -hmm. And we do that through the sports center. Sorry. And then inside recreation. And then maybe put in that note also the communication of when we're going to be going down. It will be through email. So. Like the night before, so the night before, check. yeah, check it, you know, often to make sure that you're yeah, aware of where the <laughs> drop off is going to be, you know, and pick up. So. so, I know. Well, you can bring stuff down. They'll have tables. They told us yeah, that. Tables are yeah, tables will be yeah. there. So, we I mean, should have to, they have to bring. Yeah, to bring bring down the board games oh, and uh, okay. you could do like numbers stuff down there okay. too. Oh yeah, all is huge. I mean, yeah. it's set up as many tables as you need to. Right. Sure. right. Um, so we just have to tell her that she sure she brings her entertainment stuff. Yeah, her packs yeah. it in the car. She could probably drive it down. Mm -hmm. You know.
but she was working on it. She's doing it on the phone. Um, she's getting help. She's, I thought, she, I think she's getting help from the staff during down periods. They can load, unload, and then But yeah, then you see it done. Because I also was in contact with the team director who put the kid on the sports engine. So she made a request that she have all of the um, contact information for her campers so she can contact her campers. Well, it's a little easier for her. <laughs> she doesn't have that many. Yeah, and, I, and so I suggested to her, here is the emails for all of them, and here is cell phone number one and cell phone number two available. You might want to program them into your phone if you have an emergency with your campers. I don't know what her decision was. So do they have the ability to put out it from the sports engine by person and not those contact numbers? Mm -hmm. And she has those. Yep. Yep. I think I, I may have talked to Celia or Dee about this, but I think for next next year with team camp, we should, even you know, we separated her as a director, and we didn't give her a phone this year. Yeah, we talked about so, oh, track phone. Yeah, yeah so we saw I think that needs to go email. in, yeah. you know, for her, for our thought next year, that yeah. she should get one as well. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Is so that then, Right. Yeah. Is that something we should add into your team budget? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. No, I'm not yeah. sure how much. Yeah, do you know what that is by any chance? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. The so phone like was, thing. The phone was um, we already had, but you can get a track phone card to start a phone for like a dollar because the SIM card will go, if it's not used within 30 days, the SIM card becomes inactive with the writing of SIM card. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's something that needs to be put on the radar of the um, director is that you buy cards and they're good for 60 days and her phone plan is going to end on August 13th. Oh. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> so I put on a 60 day plan in June and it only goes until August 13th. You can do 90 day? They do. If to do 90 days, you have to do a more expensive plan. You know, so but now you have to do another plan because you only have the 60 days, right? No, no, 30 days for. Could you wait three, days. Days, three more days to activate it? That would have been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a phone, but it hasn't been used. I never used it, but if the thing is gone, you can have my phone. Yeah. And all you have to do is buy a car. Yeah. See if I can find it. So um, yeah, yeah. So. Um, it's very you know, minimal that she needs to do it because half but those kids point. bring their, it's a good you know, point. Bring their yeah. stuff, their phones with them anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So no. I think she should have one. Yeah. yeah. And let me see if I can find it. Then you can have it for next year, and then I have to just buy the sure. stuff, and nobody has a number on that. So. Okay. Uh, along the same lines, I think the team camp director should have her own email so that she can send out. I know Melanie's got. Email so parents can send her concerns and stuff. But my understanding is that Patty's doing it all via her own personal email. And to have and have they ever asked for that? No. Mm -hmm. so, oh, okay. I don't think that's a big These deal. These so. are things that we don't think about. You know. And that way she can send it out to all of the team campers, yeah. and it's not flooding her inbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's. I don't think that's a big deal. But yeah. I mean, it's kind of silly right now. Right. Yeah, but right, for right, the future, right. the next. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, yeah, just thinking yeah. about it here. Yeah. Oops, I didn't know. My 2020. 2020. My 2020 note thing. <laughs> um, I'm here. Mm. What happens to, what happens to, is the emails that I want to have. All of the direct team uh, direct directors emails go to me after the game is over. Oh really? And we actually yeah. had to change it this year because last year it was rec um, R E C D I R mm -hmm. at Rollinsburg. Then we couldn't get into we discovered that the last year's rec director had the like um, password assistant set to her phone. So this year it's R E C director, the whole word. Yeah. So it's slightly different yeah. than last year's. And we that was an issue of one parent had at the beginning of the season is they tried last year's email address and got bounced back to them. Yeah, yeah. I knew it I knew it had to get changed, but um, it's mostly advertisements. 
enjoy this is in the past they weren't doing that. They were in clumps, hiding out in in shade. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't doing anything. Not so much before, but before that. There was a lot. And my younger one is jealous that he can't go to camp because he wants to go play with the fifth grade kids. <laughs> He's like, Lord, I want to go play with the chat and drink crap. Um, we do, now that you guys all mentioned this, we, we do have a problem now, Lori, I don't know if you can take part. I did talk to Rick the other day. The wasp issue on uh, the um, the kick, the, the infield of the, the of softball, softball, field. softball field up there, that the kids cannot go on there at all. Mm -hmm. And they have been, well, well, he, so this is what I asked Rick. And he was supposed to be talking to Dick about that. Rick, <laughs> I think, was on vacation this week and Dick just came back. Uh, so, I, so what day, to, I don't know, I talked to him. It might have been Monday, actually. Because they oh, were spraying yeah. and doing things like that. And I finally I just said to him, look, Rick, if you guys can't handle this, isn't there money somewhere within the school budget that we bring oh, in a, a, a professional here to take care of this? Because I did. I said, we have four more weeks here. And, and those kids can't go near that field right now. Like even Rick told me he was a little, a little scared of okay. the infestation going on. All right. That's a common area in that area, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, it's not the first time that's happened. No. Is it because it's dirt versus grass? Right. But <coughs> even, even Rick told me that they, 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 we had the problem last year, and that I guess there's a certain point in time during the year that something should be done so that they can't nest or they can't uh, lay their eggs uh, or whatever it is. Okay. And I think they might have, you know, not you blaming anybody, no, but no, I think no, that no. that might have passed and they were like, oh no, we what? needed to yeah. have done that yeah. two weeks ago yeah. or whatever. But I'll email both of them. And, uh, I'm just saying, I'll, can I'll we email Rich yeah. as well? Uh, because, you know, it's starting. Yeah. So they'll be up there. Yeah. I'll put it on the list for 2020 so that mm. like January, February, when we start moving rich into our conversations yep. about the, how we're going to get the wasp and issue taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I bet she's in my best yeah. yeah. as yeah. to whether yeah. But yeah, they, they can't, they, they're not going anywhere near that place right now. So it just limits, you know, the space as it is. Mm -hmm. used to do. We used to have softball up there. I remember playing softball up there every summer. Yeah. So, so it's, yeah. So it wasn't a problem. Thank you. So <coughs> yeah, so I did. Form it. I use it on a basis. Wait, can't you use it? Yes, and they might get attacked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you shoot us a note? We can find out what's going on. <laughs> but I think at this point in time, that what we would need to report or ask for is that somebody decides, you know, who these guys are doing. This is, this is like a, a problem. <laughs> some of the, the stuff that you get on the counter at school. I mean, if you're in the yeah, yeah, you need to any industrial strength because I'm sure it's just not full. Oh, yeah, yeah. dirty. And you break the target right too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have the right kind of stuff like that. In order to get ahead of it, because we didn't like it in our use all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was a kid, yeah, this is great. There's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's on the list for okay. an early one. Okay. So, stand is on the grant. Um, yeah, the grant that you were, um, they wanted more information about what great opportunity to try to do the pool of the bus. Cool. Who was that? Convenient and the And I have an email drafted ready to go after them. I wanted to make sure $400 is what we estimated last week. Two to two fifty for the pool and then a Hundred and fifty. Anything is better than nothing. Yeah. Right, right. Part of it. So we, whatever you get can yeah. go to something else. Yeah. So you know, the money that we put in there for that can go to something else. Where this. Can be. I would say average. Yeah, like around seventy kids. So that's yeah. like two ten for the pool entry. You know. Yeah. So yeah. anything. Two free pool entries. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And what I did notice yesterday is that a lot of other groups. And they had sponsored their shirts on the back of their shirts. Nice. Two or three groups that were at the Fisher Cats game yeah. were convenient and well, well, they're statewide too, so yeah. they might be something in their area. Yeah. So, so possibly, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Speaking of MDA, I just have a question. Do you have a 
Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, yes, I checked on that today. It's in the yes. parent handbook. And that's on the drive, the life's policy. We talked about that earlier last week. They are supposed to be sent home immediately. So if you have had any. Well, she's been out the whole week. OK. Yeah, it's yeah, in the other. So, yeah. And, and, yeah. and they know that when you put out a sign. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well I think she. Yeah, did she put it on to that? It was an email, email to us. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, but she put a notice out on the, yeah. the table and made sure parents. Okay. And she so, actually sent us, I got a sports engine thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that said. What the, I don't yeah. think that's what I got. Yeah, saying so, that um, um, there was a case and, and yeah. please check your child. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely right. Yeah, that's sorry. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm, I'm not that. Yeah, there's so many kids. <laughs> I can't remember them anymore. Oh, um, that's going to be Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is the day before Christopher came home and he said, Someone, some keeps taking my hat. You know, I'm like, Christopher, you know how I feel about that, right? <laughs> he says, Yeah, I know. Are we done with t-shirts for this year? Are we going to order any more? 
Because the printer. Why are we selling them? I saw that. Why are we selling well, oh, that's just old. Those, those are, um, those, those are in inventory. Those are those for are adults. Tees. Those are the those right are ones tees. that say camper on them. Oh, okay. Those are yeah, the those are camper um, ones. Oh, okay. things that we had like three years back. Oh, okay. To try and get donations. Okay. Those are not the school. Okay. Tees. So everyone who is supposed to get one has got one. As well. Who? Yes. So everybody has a shirt in our tier. Yeah, sure. Lawrence. You mean you're at school? Yep, at school with the names on them. Yep. Okay. So is that because they haven't come to camp yet, do you think? Or is it just Oh. I so it, it's a I think it's a mix between oh there was so much confusion over this whole t shirt. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a lot of mess. Um, but some of them were not coming to camp until this week. Okay. That I know. Some of them may or may not have gotten their second shirt. So we're waiting to find out if they their names are on them, they're accounted for. If they do not grab their second shirt, then it goes right back into inventory. It, it, meaning if they've already gotten their second shirt, yeah. I should say. Yeah. So there was so much confusion. Yeah. No yeah. idea if they grabbed okay. one or two. The people who had um, bought more. Okay. We had it. We're we had some come in after the first week, so we said, please hold off if you ordered more than one and get it when we get our second order. Mm -hmm. The second order came in, and some people got their shirts. In the meantime, they took a different size versus taking the one that they had ordered, and then some um, waited, and I know one parent just picked up this week. Some saw the shirts come in, and they said, oh, we meant to order another one, we didn't. Mm -hmm. So two parents who had requested additional shirts were able to get additional shirts this week picked up and paid for. Um, and then um, we had some kids, like we had four kids that all wanted like adult small. And we only had two adult smalls. And so we left the two adult smalls with those kids' names on them. And somehow all four kids got shirts. Yeah, so what will happen with this inventory we have is the ones that are tagged is we'll find out if they in fact already have the shirts. If they do great, we're going to put those back in inventory. If we, they never got them and they're not returning to camp, we'll make sure that they get their shirts. Okay. And that's it. So you've got all of the ones that you had on order, you have received. Mm -hmm. And so all of those shirts have owners. Mm -hmm. Um, so they and extras also and yep. There are a few extras. There are a few sizes we're out of. But the printer asked me when I picked up the last batch, are we done for this year? So well, we got what we needed. Okay, so all sizes to the people who are do them are getting the correct size. We had to compromise with a few parents. And they were okay with yeah, that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Yep. So the the, so the t-shirts are order concerned, anymore. You know, no, I absolutely not order anymore. Yeah. But the only thing we have lingering about the t-shirts is just a stack of t-shirts that are tagged for parents to either pick up or they go back into inventory. One of the others will have to figure that out. Well, can Melanie send out an email to those parents and say they need to be picked up no later than this Friday or, or whatever? I mean, next Friday. Or yeah, whatever. she can. I'll talk to her about that. I'll just put um, that on my list. And you know, so give them the last shot at it, and then you know, if they don't get them up, then they get them in. Yep. There were a couple of families that paid for their shirts, and they wore shirts from previous years, and so they never got their shirts. Those are the ones that. So are they going to be coming back looking for their money? Or I don't know. They, do you have the sizes? Yeah, those are so all the ones set for. Then I would just make. Here's your shirt. <laughs> My thing is, is they're out of towers and they're not coming back to camp, so they need to be notified that they're okay. back. And get a confirmation that either, I mean, there's no refunds. We bought the shirt, this is what it is, you can come and get it, or we'll yep. put it back into stock and be done with it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't offer a refund because, I mean, if they want it, they can come and get it. No, it's no. <laughs> um, and I don't know if anybody here can answer this, but we had a, a teen camper that was here the first two weeks that they um, we sent an invoice to with um, the community. Is it community partners? Did we get did we get that money? Do we know? Caroline, 
Yeah, so that's how I did not know. Okay. To answer that question. It was someone who was going to have it done for community. Yeah. I said that. Right, right, right. And that wasn't a problem. It didn't happen last year, and it wasn't a problem. Right. So I, I just wondered. I just wondered if, because yeah. I know last year when we did it with him, it all worked out fine. Yep. But he came later in the summer, so on, and this time he came week one and two. So I just wondered if if that money actually came through. We just want to make sure that we got that because. Write down. Do you have a pen? Write down the last thing here. Okay. Because I've got a. Which, where? We've got it over for. Anywhere? Right on the back. This one? Anywhere? Oops. How about up here? That's great. It's completely. So that should have been for a total of um, 290. There you go. That's not his mom's last name, though. So, but actually, that shouldn't matter because it should be coming from. It wouldn't be in her name. Right. That just popped into my head, so I just wanted to. It's not on here, so. Mm. I'll check with Caroline. Okay. She might be able to call them and ask them about the status of it. Maybe yeah, because it might just be a process time. Right, right, right. I remember last year we had a few of those come in uh, a little bit more Later. than usual, but I think she's right. It's a process. Mm -hmm. It's just their process, not necessarily here. Right. Um, I know she asked for an email, so I sent her an email for just what they needed to do the check. So mm -hmm. that went out, like, I think but I did that before camp started, or it was like that, you know, right when, it, maybe a couple days before. Okay. So I'll, she I'll has that. I'll her check into that. Yeah. Yeah, let me know because I have mm -hmm. contact with the mom that we've had uh, over a couple of years. Just okay. been in contact. Okay, so if I can just, D, you're going to talk to the camp staff about ensuring the campers get their shirts that are in the stack there. Mm -hmm. And Denise, you're going to talk to Caroline to make sure we uh, follow up with the community mm -hmm. partners. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Just want to make sure we're where we need to be. All right, so the next thing is the 2020 budget. So I know it's due August 12th. I have it here on the calendar. So it's August 12th. So if we back into that, I'm thinking we need to have at least a first draft um, for both Raleigh and team by the first so we can take a look at it. But we want to meet with you too um, before even the first because mm -hmm. we need to work together on getting the draft mm -hmm. filed. So first step is we get together with you, and the second step is making sure that we have drafts for all of us to look at by the first. Okay. Now, I noticed that um, when that email came out, that I don't know if it was the chief or it said something about a template. Was yeah, it's a template. It's, a, it's just an Excel spreadsheet template that we want everyone to use. Um, okay. Mostly more so than. More so for departments, but okay. I mean, if it works for you, that's fine. But it's really more about seeing uniforms. Everyone, the budget committee receives the same looking okay. documents, just a different department. It just makes it easier. Yeah. Um, but uh, she's uh, going to send it out on Monday. Okay, she gets back. She okay, it's here and she's not. But, right. So, right. Um, okay. But yeah, because I saw that. It's just to see if there was was a template or not. So and I think like, it has multiple years on it, so you can see the history. Oh, okay. Which, you know, so. But I would say it's more important for the big departments to be able right. to. Is Celia going to take the lead over the 2020 for team? Well, you have the last years, right? We have yeah. the last two years. I I don't see us changing very much mm -hmm. at all. You know, we're still not hitting. I think we had in plan, what did we, t like more kids, right? Didn't we have like a 15 kids? So we're still. You know, hoping for that, so I mean, we wouldn't we wouldn't ask for more. We just need the phone, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just get it phone. together, and then we can look at them and yeah. see if it meets everything that we can get you. Mm -hmm. And then we'll maybe put in an office or a supply line so that we put the phone and stuff like that in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we, I don't know. Do we we need a separate line because team wraps into Camp Raleigh. So is that just does that go into your line or 
Do we need a line for that? We've been doing our separate. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you should, whatever it takes to run the team should be in the team's budget. Mm -hmm. And Raleigh should be so. So Raleigh's a little bit more difficult. I mean, I'm to the point where I'm still in the middle of trying to really pull apart, like, who's paid what for tuition, and it's just so difficult. Every year I go through this. But anyway, so I'm in the middle of that, but then to have to come up with <laughs> a budget. But so uh -huh. the idea is to find out how close we are and what's the projected. Yeah. Have you maybe do the same have thing? Have you gotten anything from Carolina on what the total amount of revenue has been received? Because what she had sent out that I was copied on did not contain Sports Engine. So I know what it is. Okay. Um, I can see it through Sports Engine. Um, so but do you see? Do you see the combined? Not yet. Um, oh, okay. So the last one she sent me was July 11. Um, notating that she's not pulled it over yet. Okay. Which is fine. But I, I know just by looking at okay. Sports Engine what's been deposited to our account. I have a question so about when is the last. Um, payment date for anybody with remainder balance. I just happen to have an answer for you. Well, all right. <laughs> That's July 16th. That was two days ago. Okay. okay. So, so, any, so all of our money should have come through. Except for one. Um, so remember I sent you guys uh, two days ago the, the $100? Um, so yeah, I, I don't understand out. that at all. I found out <laughs> it, was, it was an automatic payment failure. So whoever had themselves set up on automatic payments, um, their last deduction failed. So I know who that person is. Well, didn't that last, last didn't that team. last person know? Didn't they just get invoiced for an extra week? That still it was a separate. It wasn't the same people. It was a different oh pro, a different participant. Somebody who has payment else. plan. Um, their last payment didn't go through. Is what she's saying, and we. So that had not, I thought it was issues. I thought it was the same person. No, but it wasn't. No, it was oh. two different issues. Okay. So we, Dean got an automatic um, email saying such and such a per, such and this credit card failed, and you have a hundred dollar invoice that was balance that wasn't paid. It's was actually more than that. Or you had a balance that wasn't paid, and so can you share that with me? Who that was? Can you write that down? Yeah. So she emailed. So she asked us if we knew because it had mentioned team. Yeah, that's not that's um, wrong with it. Yeah. If it had either one of us had invoiced anybody mm -hmm. and if that hundred dollars or that payment yeah, was probably. from us and I told her this is the last parent I had invoiced and but to answer your question, so you should have received. So that was the only one that didn't go through for all the automatic installments that we had. Hey, that's pretty good. Ever, I mean, through the whole. That's pretty awesome. But it's not Raleigh. So right. It's team. So you have all yours. Right. So that's good. Yep. I just so, need to know. I would, the final one I need to know is how much tuition you collected because that needs to be deducted from um, the total sports engine capture. Well, for, for Raleigh. What I saw in invoices is that. We have one teen camper who I gave, um, who was invoiced, who didn't pay yet. That's all that chill on the power pay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that the last week, the one week that was, was added it? for week seven? Care. Yeah. Okay. So that yeah. hasn't gone through yet? It hasn't gone through yet. Um, Should I send out a little note to, I, 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 I feel like I've chatted with that mom in the past, so I, I feel I comfortable gave, sending her a note. I would wait. Until tomorrow, okay. Because I put the due date on the invoice as tomorrow. Okay. So see if she pays by her due date. Yeah, and just let me know because I'll, uh, I'll I'll give her a call. But I think that's the only invoice uh -huh. that we have outstanding at the moment. I think so. But I'll check. There's uh, one other. So um, there was um, three other outstanding invoices for the Fisher Cats game, and. I found out that two of the campers who said they were going ended up not going. So um, and they hadn't paid yet. So, so did we have to pay for it? Yeah, did they say they were going? And so we had to buy the ticket. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna eat the ticket? Well one of the tickets, tickets got one of the tickets got taken by the staff and they sent an extra staff member. 
So I think if they committed to going, regardless they have to, of the I would send them a bill. We need yeah. to. Okay. And we'll have to come up with a better way of doing this. And then there was year. one yeah. camper. Um, and, and actually, I actually I was thinking about the whole okay. fish cats things. thing today because what what we did account for, which we account for sort of in team, is extra tickets for counselors. And I I don't know if we talked about that or I can't remember, but you know that's when we we come we came down to the eleven twenty five per kid. And we really should ask for like $15 per yeah. kid. We should have. To cover the cost of uh -huh. the yeah. council. Yeah. 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 How did so the council's ticket get paid? Yeah. Well, it's coming in. We are oh, okay. eating the cost up. But so my question to you would be, I know that you said you made a spreadsheet. We should, what I just need yeah. is um, the dollar amount. Of course, it's income versus expense, right? So we, we're taking a loss somewhere. So I need to just figure out what the difference is, like what we're eating as opposed to. So the, I know we spent $848.50 on tickets. Mm -hmm. And um, Do you want I don't know. So let's just say, so, well, we can figure this out. Yeah, it's another time. time. Yeah, okay. that you two are included on. Okay, okay. well, I'll take a better look at it. Um, so, yeah, we'll switch to the, well, how many did we buy? 75? Yes. And, and they were 11.25 each? Mm -hmm. Yep. We should have, should have bumped it. Eight forty-three seventy-five. That's what you said. Eight forty-eight fifty. Hmm. They added a five-dollar processing charge. Uh, the Fisher per cancer. no, oh, just for them uh, uh, one okay. five-dollar. Yeah, for the whole thing. Yeah. For the whole thing. Okay. And the kid that decided not to go. They well, still be paying for her ticket. Well, there were three well, that I decided not to go, and that was my next question. Um, two of them, one, they found out the day before, two of them are siblings, and they found out either the night before or that morning that um, they had an orthodontist appointment, so they couldn't be there, so they never paid. So there's two, um, well, sorry, have you either have either, have either one of them <laughs> um, asked for a refund? And then the, the other family, they comment, they sent an email to Caroline saying, we keep getting this invoice saying it's unpaid, and we paid it, and then the day of, the child decided not to go. And I don't know, so Melanie asked me today, are we refunding? No. no. Because the child decided not to go. No, no. 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 I we bought child. the ticket, so that ticket had to be bought. And if they didn't give well you in well in advance, so no. It's probably a non-issue, so I, I, they probably won't even ask. No. I can't imagine them asking for a refund. I mean, if they do, the answer is no, but yeah. So the ticket had to be bought in advance. And, that's and she, the child needs to know that, because she would do that all the time. <laughs> she would. All right, so let me know you done writing. I'll move on. Just have a question about budgets again. See, that's not our job. It's a parent's job to tell them. Mm -hmm. to do that, but. Or you so, can be the theme, and my parents say, I don't know if you know those three kids. I don't want to go. And I say, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> have a good time. Make the most out of it. So, so ice cream. If that's the case, then we have three people who um, have okay. outstanding bills. Um, one went to the game, and we haven't seen payment unless they dropped it off their camp. Um, yeah, well, we may have to give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. Yep. And the camp assistant director was in contact with the family earlier this week to make sure the payment came in. And then the other two kept on saying, we'll pay you when we talk to our kids and make sure they're going. And then they decided they weren't going. So we just need to no. So what if, what if we've learned from this? Because I think that there's a lesson here that I think we need to either, in my opinion, it's all or nothing, and it, there isn't any choice. I mean, it is. I mean, it, it, and you increase the tuition by that, and that's what it is. Because this one really was a, a mess yeah. with um, trying collecting first day of camp, all of those kind of things. I just think that if it we're going to do it, we're going to do it, and, and it's it part of your been, cost. It wouldn't have been so bad that they required the money earlier. Right? Did yeah. you have to give like that's, 50%? That's what was a cost. Yeah. So that was a pain. What, yeah. That's what made well, it such a big Because it was a popular 
right day it wasn't a camp day or something so it was something that they, it was their requirement but I just think that we either we just do it and it's part of the tuition I mean so it brings up a good point I think I broke it down to numbers today we had 18 kids paying online four came to the town hall and paid because they weren't in camp and 30 paid the camp staff I um, I don't know if we want to raise the tuition to cover it. My opinion is that maybe paying the camp shouldn't be an option. Mm -hmm. You should either pay it online or drop it off at the town hall. I mean, they don't pay tuition at the, at the camp. But there's three, three people that are involved in this process. I mean, three different people. One of them don't want to be involved in it at all, and but they are. And it's like, it's either we got to simplify it or just not do it. You know what I think we should do is what we thought we might be able to do last year, but we did get kind of behind and we never did it, was get ahead of the game and know by the time registration open up, opens up, this is what we're offering as our one off-campus activity mm -hmm. this year. We already have, we already know what it is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's part of the registration process. Yeah. If you want to go, you click that box, mm -hmm. and your 25 bucks is already Included. automatically added. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody out of it. Yeah, that's, I mean, that, it has to be more simple right. than, than having three different drop-off locations yeah, yeah, yeah. involved. Yeah. And, agree, you yeah. know, and if they don't pay, they don't go. Do I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's what we should, you know, if, if you don't want to have it part of the tuition and have an option to put it on Sports Engine, then we're golden. Yeah, we think of one off-campus trip for next yeah. year, yeah. just get our ducks in a row, yeah. we, beef up the tool, we beef up the price next time to cover staff numbers, yeah. whatever that is. Yeah. It doesn't have to be another baseball game, it could be right. something else. Yeah. And I think that's just the best way to handle it. I it, think takes, right. it takes everybody out of the mix. Yeah. Either that or it's not or, going Or you raise it, you know, the... Or you throw in another twenty dollars, you know, which we we don't like to do, but mm -hmm. I mean it's it's all right though to do that. Just, yeah, know, it just was it and was this just will include, you know, one off campus, whatever. Because it was popular, right? We had seventy we had fifty two Fifty-two campers went. Mm -hmm. Fifty-five signed up yeah. out of seventy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then we sent the, you know the team. It was that was a part. That was an activity on team. That, yeah. That they were going. Mm -hmm. so. By the way, I heard you also went to the baseball game on Monday. I didn't. I didn't go. Yeah, the team campus. Baseball game. I asked a student today about baseball game on yesterday, and he said he didn't go. And I said, what well, you went to camp this week? Because you were back. And he said, oh, that was on Monday. I went to the game on Monday. And I knew there was no game. game. I, I yeah. just. No, Monday we went to um, the top, fun center. Oh, he went hiking. Yeah. Hmm. You know, there you go. Even that is simple. We know how much the Hilltop Fun Center packages are. We add that as the off campus fun trip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Already have, know how yes. much it is, already have it preloaded. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's easier yeah. for us to negotiate. It's easy for us to, because it's local. Yeah, yeah. the transportation yeah. is cheaper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did he come this whole week? Did he pay? Did they pay? Yes. Yeah. I don't know the deal. Is. Me either. As I far as um, us meeting. Like, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. between yeah. now yeah. and <laughs> the first, <laughs> so we need to look at calendars. So well, my, I'm on vacation. The, the last three days of this month and the first three days of the, whatever that, that week. Oh, I'm out, I'm gone. Gone. oh that yeah. week. so you and I will need to meet next week. I'm, if you can. I'm sure I can. I have a meeting Monday night and I um, and Wednesday. I have budget Wednesday and select board Monday. Okay. But, um, yeah. And select board, everyone needs to meet every other week now. So we can um, do a Monday night on the off weeks. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Are you guys going to continue that? Like, do you think for mm -hmm. the rest of the year? Okay. Well, we just. I didn't you know, know that was a summer thing. Yeah, or. we're doing it. Because <laughs> we, uh, the, some people were interested in being on the select board because they have an opening. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, every week was just. Yeah. 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 So, you know, the, the 
plan is that on our off fleet, we will go to and um, go over policy. We have been bring, prepared for that for next week. Yeah, so your meetings aren't short either. It's not like. Well, no, with the last. I have about 10 o'clock at night. You know, so. it's not like yeah. to bang on a half an hour meeting yeah. every Monday. No. You know. So time. we'll do our homework on the night out, and then we'll come back the next week with it all done. So, so that anyway. But, um, yeah, give me some of your um, dates. Send me an email or something, and I will uh, check my calendar because it's at work. Sorry. Okay. And then I can, I can definitely, I just know I have a budget meeting next week on Wednesday. That's in Monday. You guys are meeting Monday because we have one last PO for team. Yes. It's still your house right in front of us. We, <laughs> we need to decide on how many team campers we're, or Camp Raleigh campers we're sending to. Um, well, I think we can just put in a, or what, do, what was the cost to do? It's $225 to open the building and to secure our spot. And that's for 10. For that, for 10. And how much is it per person? After, after that? that, it's 50. The more people you have, the less expensive it is. But it comes out to be $15 per person if you get between 25 and 30. Okay, we're not getting 25 to 30. So what is it between 10 and 20? Is that a different? So well, we said $15 a person. That's what that is. Good. How many teens do you have? So for that week, we have, have six. Oh, so six. we have six. Yeah, okay, have so you need four. So we need four in order for them to open the door. Mm -hmm. and have we so put we it out there yet? Ten. No. That hasn't I won't sign out. this until I know that it, at least it's going out. Because I'm. what will that be? That will be very expensive if you're only going to do the five, right? Would they open it for the five? No. No. No, they're, no, they're, they're going to charge you ten. for They're going to charge us this amount. For five. For five. That's yeah. what they need to open the doors. We have that money. In the team camp budget. We have it. Whether we have this six go or we add kids. We we I just we have this Okay, so you're telling me you're not gonna offer it? Or yes. You are gonna offer it. We are, are but offer. there's okay. no reason not to sign it is what I'm saying to you. Well I think it is when you pay an outrageous price because you don't have those people. <laughs> Well, it's only what two twenty-five. I mean, you got to know these kids are paying one hundred and ten dollars a week to go to this. Mm -hmm. So, frankly, you know, when I when I do these numbers with two twenty-five, even if you divide it by six kids, that's thirty-seven bucks a a kid. We've you know the take flight was fifty bucks a kid, and that was steeply discounted. <laughs> <laughs> so it averages out when we did when when I do this kind of budgeting for this. We have like one, we basically have a chunk of, of roughly $50 per ticket to go out for one initial thing. So like, um, and then we have like a freebie, essentially. So what are we doing that week? What was the other thing we do that week? So a $37.50 to go is still within, so they're going to White Lake that first, the first. No, well, no, they, um. They changed that. They changed that. Oh, I thought it was like, like still for last week. I, I think that's the week they could get into Patoka Way, so I think they're oh, okay. But, it, but they're still going to a, a state park. park. A state park, which is a freebie. All right, so, so just let me know what you're going to do. So, you know, I, I, I say, say, I say, whether we, you know, collect a few bucks from somebody else so is if fine. So, you, you if you go 30 bucks, if you go all 30, it comes out to be $550. 525 or something. We're not going to thirty. So I didn't say you have to have more staff, right? Yep. Yeah. He said one staff to every five to six kids. No, was it their staff or no, our uh, staff? He our said staff. I thought they were. He said that he said they would supply a staff. They would supply a staff, and I followed that up per request. Yeah. How, How much? much? Yeah. And I didn't hear back from him. He's usually pretty good. He didn't get back. That's a little scary. Well, our other option is that we don't have to go to this climbing. You know, we, you know, we we don't have to go to indoor ascent. We have a bus, so. But you have to bus them there anyway. Right. So we could just bus them to. And the else. schedule says rock climbing or yeah. climbing to, to be determined. determined. So. I would just have it be. Because you have that budgeted, but you don't have over that budget. It won't be over that, though. But
But correct? if she's, if she's going to get 30 people, it would be. Well, right. that's the max that they can take there, too. Okay, so the only thing we were going to open up to was like, I thought, like five to six of the six or seven. First come, first, first serve. So, so there are yeah. five, I sent you a list yeah. today. There are five um, seventh graders that are signed up for Camp Raleigh. Um, I don't know if they're all summer or not, but I would start there with mm -hmm. those five seventh graders and see if they want to go. So, but that becomes awesome. another that becomes another logistical collecting of money because then they would yeah. need to collect money for their. So I don't know. Do we want to go down that road again? <laughs> what do you mean we need to collect money? If Camp Raleigh participants go, it's a paid field trip. They, they have to pay. So We're trying. Are you going to pay that whether they go or not? Mm -hmm. So but why do they have to pay? Because it's not fair for them to go for free when Camp Teen Camp. Is but they're paying for it anyway, so why wouldn't we put... It's an upgraded field trip. Right. The Fisher Cats was not included in what we budgeted, so we upgraded that. This is an upgraded event. Not all the campers are allowed to go. It's just these campers. And if all five of the seventh graders say they're going, then that means we're going to pay $15 for at least one of them to go because um, we're over the 10. We're at 11. So what are you going to charge them then? What that's what I was asking. It was like so if you do uh -huh. two well so if you do two twenty five so it would be twenty two fifty right per kid on that. Yeah. If it's two twenty five. What if we just they have to pay by a sports engine? Five campers, they get billed and they have to pay by a sports engine. Then I would do a sports engine. Yeah. And we're talking about doing that for next year. Why don't we start it now? You must, if you're going to participate, you must pay by sports engine. And then it alleviates all of the middleman here. It means that the camp direct staff doesn't have to collect money. It doesn't have to be accounted for. And we can have it. And on sports engine, we can make, you can itemize the bill. So you can put in an item. So we can put in indoor scent. It automatically associates the price with it. Once you put it into our scent, it creates the invoice. You can send it. You, and if I know a couple of the seventh graders are siblings, so you could say you're sending them two invoices, and it'll automatically double it versus sending it twice to them. So why would we have picked a place like this when you didn't even have the student in the team, and, and the fee was high? And I get it; it's in your budget and all of that, but. Why would you have done that that location if you knew you didn't have the staff? I mean, the, the participants in there, all right? Because that um, was done. That was done to be early. early. Yeah, yeah early. but did we? How many did we have a team last year with those many numbers? We team went there last year. I don't know yeah. the numbers were. I don't. Know. We they went there a different week. Right. So it might have been. We might have been. We just picked a better week that there was a higher count. That's all. Oh, it's there. the week that it's the lowest count. Because how many right. do you have in team? Well, that week there's only six. Well, how many total? I mean, how, what was the most that you had in team? Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Oh, okay. So then that would have been okay. And, and actually, so actually, actually yeah. pretty much every week except for the but last two uh -huh. are kind of the low. And last year we had a week that was 14. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, and that was an amusement park week. Yeah. So. Um, so we put but it like in. that's one of the weeks you're on vacation. Right? Yeah. So I can't. So. Mm -hmm. She's a bummer. And She's so one vacation. of the reasons, like, indoor scent was chosen was it's like, if it was suggested um, back in June when I met with the director that if we pick something local, the Camp Raleigh director, that then the bus could circle back, and she was willing to send some Camp Raleigh campers if we were willing to accept that and send some staff if they would have had available staff. So do you guys want to move forward with Indoor uh, uh, Kelly looked at a couple like, other places. Yeah, I don't remember now. I could I could go back and look and, and we could go over it and see what else is available per, maybe they do a per person. But yeah. isn't this already been published that that's where you're going? Yeah. No. Oh. It's the published yeah. rock climbing. Yeah. So Say we'll we can contact a couple. So we could do that before. What about like monkey chunks or something like that? 
I mean, it's not actually a rock. Was there a North Carolina? Yeah, in Conway. Oh, I thought they had one in uh, Southern. Or, uh, Kittery was the take flight one, and we uh, did that one. Yeah. There's one in 16. It's, I think it's in Conway. Before you get into it. Yeah, I think it's right. Or whatever that small town is before you can get there. But what? What do you think? So, so that's pretty far, though. It's mm -hmm. a far. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 And the more bus. And the team <laughs> camp director is fine going there and doing 9.30 to 12.30. Yeah, because it's and three hours. And then doing the three-hour thing, going with some Camp Raleigh campers, dropping them back off to um, camp, and then going and taking the bus to do something else. She was thinking about maybe going to a beach or something. A Wednesday. Um, but even if Camp Raleigh cannot send an extra staff, 10 to 1 or 12 to 1 is what Teen Camp has been running at for most of the summer. Like 10 campers to one staff person. Right, no, they wouldn't get another. We wouldn't need that. But what is our staff going to do? Because None of them know how to rock climb. I mean, it's like, what, are, what are they? They're the ones on the bottom. They, 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 they teach stuff. Staff, um, they teach the counselor how to play, how to keep them oh, safe. On the, the staff over there is going to teach our counselors how to make yes. sure the kids don't fall. Right. Yep. Okay. But they have two rooms over there, so one you don't need that stuff. So there's like one room that's just basically free climbing, and then there's another one. So are you going to offer it or are you not going to offer it? <laughs> like we've gone a full circle there. Because uh, if you are, you need to do it soon. Right. And I would put a limit first, whatever. So since we have six, so yeah, we really only need four to get the ten. So you want to do the four? First come, first serve. Four? And I, okay. Because I just don't think you have, you might not have the staff that we can release to go. That's the, you know, and if we knew we had additional staff that we could send from Raleigh, you know, but if you don't know what your staff is going to be like, it, it would be hard to yes. admit that. What's the date on that? August 7th. It's the Wednesday before the Wednesday House. I personally say that we, whether we get anybody or not, that it's certainly like I said, you know, it's the 37, 50 or whatever, so it's, it's, it's really, no, 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 if 10 goes, it's 20, 50. If it's just our six, it's 37, 50, okay. which is still within, you know, that's what they pay for stuff, mm. so. I mean, that, that's less than what they paid for at, at Hilltop, right? Yeah. No, Hilltop was 35. Hilltop was 35. Yeah. And this is what, about what we're paying for the amusement park. Lake is 35 too, right? Yeah, 35. Is that the, the deal that they gave you? Which uh, deal? Which uh, they, they gave you any deal? $39 no, flat rate yeah. or 25 people or more for $28. Yeah. But you have to purchase a block of 25 tickets to go in for the $28 price. If you do not get, if you go in with less than 25, it's $39, but they offer a Five dollar discount coupon at McDonald's. I have, not, I have them. I couldn't and, find one. Oh, that day I went. They're so mad. They weren't around here. You had to go to <laughs> Newington. Probably Jeff said I went to. Jeez. I sent Jeff to Newington on one of his lunch breaks. I'm like, can you go look at McDonald's? Because I went to McDonald's in Dover and I went to Market Basket, and neither one of them had it. Or you can use their website. Their website has a five dollar coupon. Oh my god. I can get yeah. it off the website. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. Like it took me like an hour one day, and I'm like, really? I'm only going on like. It was fun. The water park was fun. The new one. Yeah, it's it good. was so congested. Uh, it was so uh, bad. It was fun. I have a good time. Yeah, so it's thirty four for you know it's thirty four for Canopy Lake and um, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, but that's more than an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three hours. Right. So, right. so okay. yes, we're opening it, Kelly. You're working on it. Yeah, I'll do it. It's, we are we're collecting gonna... money through sports engine only. Yeah, so I don't know how to do that. I will invest that. <laughs> <just like this. laughs> so wait, what do I so? So can that email be sent out to those kids? Or are we looking for verbal, like, I want to go, so I'm going to, 
have my mom um, invoice my mom. How does that well, work? Well, here's, here's the thing about so um, if you talk to Melanie and she's okay with it, right? Yeah. So we'll figure out through her first if that's doable. Yeah. yeah. And um, so you can't, so with a sports engine, you can't just say, okay, here's my here's my sixth graders or my seventh graders or whatever it is. You, it's, it's harder. You have to. I really I look. I really look. You what? I pulled the in sports engine. I pulled them out by groups. By groups? Oh, well, I don't. So, so yeah. if you're gonna offer it to six, seven, and eight, you just click them and send the email. I made the groups. It wasn't a smart group. I went through and pulled them out by like group. But yeah, it was tedious, time-consuming, going through finding out what grade everybody was in. Yeah, it's very tedious. But you could do it that way and say first come first serve. Yep. So then you just watch the course will come to my email. <laughs> Perfect. So. <laughs> So we'll know who is just the way I want it. And you just let me know how many, and or as I get them, I'll just work them on to you. And uh, you can determine who's first come first serve. And that's the way you want to do it. Through sports engine. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So just say when it's a go, and just let me know. Help you. So here you go. <laughs> Sign here tonight. I have to do it at a board meeting. So, no, um, no, no. There's a difference of opinion about that, but that's okay. Uh, are we capping? We have the money. Are we oh, capping? Yes, but it's not a proper way of doing it. <laughs> are we capping it at 10? Yes. Okay. So you only want four. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. There's, um, that's it. First serve. So, doing 10. I think there's between six, seven, and nine. Or, sorry, six, seven, and eight. Isn't like 19 of them, 19 kids? Um, yeah. So do you want to try maybe just? I was just thinking seven and eight. Although I, this, was it, our one eighth grader is not all, anywhere. It's and not she there. came for the first two weeks, so then so she was at theater camp the rest of the okay. summer. So yeah, that's the other thing. You gotta, be, you gotta know who's coming. <laughs> so the list I sent you is all of the campers, and I'm not sure if all of them are signed up. All of summer. Oh, okay. so I think you will know some of them on there. Um, so, you can. Okay. Donna at 10. Yeah, Kathy at 10. And I did tell um, Melanie that you'd be talking to her about that. So she's going to heads up. Okay. And, yeah. She said if, if we were opening it up to her daughter's age group, she'd be interested in sending her daughter. <laughs> Who's a fifth grader? So. All right. And so um, they would be charged. Are we charging them twenty two fifty on the invoice um, for the first four? Yes. Would Sam's uh, Walgreens card go into um, just Carolyn keep um, okay. HR files? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll give it to Carolyn. Okay. 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 Thank you. So I gave you that, mm -hmm. which was my vacation. Yeah, I've got um, Denise's, Kelly's, and mine, but mine's out there. Okay. Um, Lori, are you on vacation now? I, I am, but I don't know yet why. Okay. I'm just keeping track so that we have a journal. Yes. We're going to go back to New York, but um, I have to coordinate Ian. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it'll just be for a few days. Okay. So just looking at this, we only have one, two, three, four, five, seven graders. So it might have to be a sixth. Although, you get although I know a few of those kids personally, so maybe I'll send out. I thought you might. <laughs> An individual. So, yeah, if you find out, you can let us yeah. know and we can um, invoice it. Okay. My, so, vacations are done. Yep. Um, so, I know we want to schedule a year end wrap up. Now I'm I'm leaving I'm out of town starting on the twenty second. 
So I wondered if we could do it. Well, we can't do it on Monday because it's budget. I mean, uh, no, Wednesday. Well, which Monday? Sorry. Which what? I'm looking at the week of August. Um, no, so no, the week I'm that I'm on vacation, we don't have a meeting. So go. Go. So right here is meeting. Which network? Yep. So, so you're meeting with no. Peers. I mean, yes, no, yes, no. So yes. <laughs> oh, that's the week? Yeah, so Camp Pad's right here. Okay. So I thought it was important that we get together as soon as possible yeah. to talk about the end of year. Well, we still have that one too. Mm -hmm. um, so Monday you can't. No, if that's, if, if yeah. that was, yeah. yeah. So, um, so the the rest of the I kind of don't want to do it the 21st because I've got to, I need to head out like, I need to catch a flight this morning. Um, the 20th on Tuesday? I don't usually have anything on Tuesday. I don't have my stuff on my book with me. Oh, Kelly, I know. I know. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know. I can't even tell you. I can what do you want to aim for Tuesday? Maybe yeah. The 20th? Sure. And then if, it's, if she's not, then we can reconsider that. Wait, is that like in. Oh. Wait, what? We're going August here? Yeah, because it's canceled. Okay. All right. So. Um, can we? That should be okay, I think. Can but we add in uh, an invitation to Patty too? She has a lot of ideas for team camp. Like she's had low numbers on Friday, and, that's too and like she had some ideas about um, Funtown Splash Town that she had some good insight too. I think her opinion needs to be heard as well. Yeah. Absolutely. So the twentieth at what six? Yes. Okay. You know, I guess now, but we're all back from the team and everything, so. Okay. All right, so we'll try for the 20th. So, first season wrap. Wrap party. Definitely need beer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then I guess the only thing I have left, as long as there's nothing else, is scheduling uh, the next meeting. I don't have a, I don't have a book. Kelly. I don't know. Smack me all over. <laughs> uh, so Denise is on vacation the week of the 29th. That's the only weekend. Yeah. And I leave, too, mm -hmm. after that. I don't know. I don't know how we're doing this budget. <laughs> I am here those first three days. So I'm here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever those days are. Okay. The last three days of July, I, I am around. So if you so, can meet Monday or Wednesday, yeah. I could do that. Okay. Tuesdays, my husband teaches. Okay. My husband has to get child care. So as a group, I don't know. Wow. Denise has gone those three days. Is that Denise? I'm at home week. Yeah. yeah. Do we now, Kelly? You're gone the first, but do we still want to? Because I I asked for the first draft on the first anyway. So you want to be on the first, and you can represent yeah. the team. Budget. You don't need me. I will meet with you before she goes, <laughs> and then we can. Oh, you don't have a book. The first of what? August. No, no she's year. still gone. She's gone yes. that, that whole week. Oh, first. That's why. The last yeah. three <laughs> and the first yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess we do everything email correspondence until. <laughs> on the 29th or the 31st when we could do the team budget. Sure. And that we could coordinate with her. And we could do the library either one of those links because they're open until 7. Yeah, let's do that. And then
I can send it to Denise by email. Mm -hmm. So either of those days, 29, 30, or 31, is good. Um, I can all do the 30th. Okay. And Kelly needs to check her calendar. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so 29 or 31. Yeah. Okay. okay.
three fifty or three seventy five. They have these giant Oreo cookies that fit in your hands, and they put, fill them with whatever kind of ice cream you want. But they have, they have and then uh, you can get Oreos or nutter butters, and they they're just blank, and they fill them with whatever candy. And I'll put sprinkles or nuts or whatever you want on the outside. I'm afraid the place I don't want to. Go. Four no. bucks. I'm like, <laughs> when I'm stressed, I'll go there. That sounds lovely. They have different chocolate Oreos that I get there too. Yeah. They're like, I don't know, two bucks. Did you get the ones with the brownies and the uh -huh. Do they, they have like the bakery case too? Like they, have they, do. they have all kinds and they have one, one and case that's like just alcoholic based. Wait, really? Yeah. Do you know where the Oreos are? <laughs> they come <laughs> out the corner and they throw I missed that? It is, but yet the thing is the, the shake thing is are just, yeah. They're just, that's yeah I saw that on TV. Yeah, yeah, like, oh my God. Okay, next right. meeting. Yep. So, do we know? No? Um, yes? No, I don't think we know. I think we were just going to meet on the budget. Okay. And the okay. vacation schedules are. And then we had the 20th. The 20th. The 20th, yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, so, do you want to get in touch with me? Give me some times of, that we can meet with the budget. And I think it's the only that one week that's in the way. And that's, yeah, that's what's next week. Yeah. But well, my schedule's pretty clear next week. Okay. So. All right. Should be fine. Let me know what you got. Yep. Uh, Virginia. All right, okay. eight o'clock. Did we so really get awesome. done in two hours? I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> like I get to go home. It's still light out. <laughs> um, so did, I told you guys, but one of our um, campers got a baseball yesterday. Oh, oh that's awesome. nice. Oh. Just well, then that somebody told me that my kid tried to steal it from him. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, he, he was, your kids were in that row. Yeah. My kid was mad because it bounced off his hat and rolled yeah. off his foot and someone else grabbed it. <laughs> my mom went with friends to a Yankee game years ago. We need to adjourn. We need to adjourn. Our uh, good friend of our family. We're all set. We're all set. We're, we're adjourned. I didn't hear a motion to adjourn. Well, Kevin, Kelly made a motion to adjourn. Okay. I'm writing it down right now.